I hope I'm not the only one who has noticed what seems to be like a renaissance of girl gaming. There have been a few games that have been recently announced that's just making me feel like the era of hyper film games that are marketed more so towards like film presenting people. <laughs> oh my god. Both men and women and non-binary people of all um, gender appropriations and the pronouns, everyone is included. I Today I'm going to talk about some games that have been announced that are making me feel so hopeful for the future of girl gaming. If you're not familiar with the term girl game, I'm going to give you a little introduction, a little bit of a cliff notes on it, okay? So girl games are games that were marketed towards girls mostly in the early 2000s. So those games are like the Barbie game, girls go game, um, the fashion doll games, the paper doll game. Ask any girl during that era what games they played. They could tell you pretty much a variety of those games. So girl games are mostly more very like hyper feminized, usually featuring like makeovers, decorating, um, life sims, farming games kind of thing. So like Harvest Moon, like you know the, I feel like there is a time when these games kind of died out Like we haven't gotten them in a while. So you know games that are just essentially, you know, just about doing cute things. That's what I consider a girl game. So, so we have Fashion Dreamer that came out recently. We also have Princess Peach Showtime which also recently released so we have a few games that have been kind of popping up the brats game also was another game that came out i feel like that kind of ushered in the era of like more games marketed towards girls i would say um but i will i would just want to make sure i have a disclaimer that these games aren't exclusive to just girls anyone can play these games but before i get started my name is delania i'm talking about video games i've been doing cozy gaming vlogs just chilling over here in this corner of the internet so if you want to hang out too like and subscribe and let's get started Okay, so the first game on my list. Um, this game, we only have a few screenshots and it has been kind of in the works for over a year and that is Totally Spies Cyber Mission. If you guys remember Totally Spies, Totally Spies literally is my childhood. Like, it's so iconic, okay? I love everything about Totally Spies. I love the gadgets. I love Sam, Alex, and Clover, them doing their spy shenanigans while also trying to juggle high school life. And I love the fashions on Totally Spies. Totally Spies has had a few games. I used to love to play the online game Totally Spies Mall Brawl. They also had a Nintendo DS game I saw, but I think that might have been more so marketed to like France because it's way more popular in France than it is over here. We're getting a new Totally Spies game. So Totally Spies just came out with a new season, kind of like a reboot. It's season seven. So it's not really like a reboot, but it is getting like, it has gotten a facelift. Like the animation style has changed a little bit. So along companion with the Totally Spies season, there is going to be this video game Totally Spies Cyber Mission. And this one is set in Singapore and it features like their adventures in Singapore doing missions, but also a side by of the um, them being in school which i'm guessing they're in college right now there's not any gameplay so far of this like not a trailer or anything there's just been some drops of screenshots recently that show you like how the game will look somewhat like of a hint is to the gameplay this is being created by game devs micro which have done some of the smurfs games and a few other games i am kind of excited for this there's going to be a lot of emphasis on exploration and finding different like locations like finding secret locations they make sure to emphasize that it'll be like being in an episode of Totally Spies which means that you're juggling being a spy with being in your in school let's see it's gonna be stealth mode it's gonna be puzzles it's gonna be collecting stylish gadgets like the compounder um, gadget or like the laser lipstick those kind of things like I just love the gadgets of Totally Spies like I wanted them so bad honestly I wanted them so bad also says they're gonna be there's gonna be a local multiplayer which is going to be where you can have two friends play as any of the three girls yeah that's like a majority of what they've said so far that there's gonna be and I think that is gonna be really interesting it, the screenshots are I will say I'm looking at the screenshots I do see some different like two of them look kind of like two different games like one looks kind of like a claymation and the other looks like a top down I don't know like mini game so it looks like there's I don't know how the game like I'm I'm wondering how the animation style will be because it kind of 
kind of like it's varying but it does look like it's going to be like a 3d kind of animation i kind of wish that they did do the 2d like artwork that they do in this tv show but um i'm i'm interested in seeing like how this one will turn out hopefully it's not as disappointing for me as like brats was like when brats released i was super excited because i wanted that like same vibe that i got from playing like brats rock angels but it wasn't the same vibe but i will say i have a little bit of faith in this one mostly because um the brats game was created by um i was like outright games um the devs and they do mostly like baby games like peppa get peppa pig or like coco melon like those types of games so i feel like the microids i have a little bit more faith in them because i've heard the smurfs games are really fun and i i feel like this one might actually turn out to be like what i expect it to be i'm just cross you guys okay okay so the next game on my list and this is kind of the reason why i we're entering the renaissance of girly gaming and that is infinity nikki so infinity nikki i have seen gameplay a gameplay trailer of this like what 2022 there's a gameplay trailer i was expecting it to be released last year but there is literally no word i honestly thought it got scrapped because i had heard nothing about it and i was kind of like i really want this game like i needed it my hands when i watched the trailer so if you're not familiar with infinity nikki or the nikki series in general so there's like shiny nikki love nikki these are mobile games that you can play where you play as nikki and she it's like a, it's a dress up game it's a mobile paper doll it has a storyline with infinity nikki there was a trailer a real trailer finally released and there also have been some play tests for it and supposedly it's going to be q3 2024 where they're going to have some beta testing or beta play test so um some people would be want to go on their website there is a sign up sheet for you to be able to like try to be picked for a play test but anyway in infinity nikki it is an open world dress up game where you are like in these very beautiful environments and you can change your outfit based on what you want to do in your gameplay from what i've seen in the trailer so i've seen a few different um outfits that she can dress into there's one outfit where it helps her to like do high jumps or like float and fly across platforms there's another one she can turn really small and ride this cute little kitty it's adorable and another one i've seen feature where you're taking care of animals so there it seems like there's a, a variety of different types of outfits what i'm most interested in with this game is the open world of this dress up game and just how beautiful the environments look seems to be a storyline as well but it's very little we know about the storyline but i really love the graphics i think the graphics are like literally like so mind-blowing for a dress up game honestly i don't really see this amount of like attention and detail put into a game of this like variety i would say we do have like fashion dreamer i've told you guys already how much i love fashion dream i literally was obsessed i have over 60 hours in that game like i have a lot of time in it and i really enjoyed it this game i really love like the graphics is what draws me to it the most because it just looks like so much time and attention is being put into also created by the same developers who made love in deep space which is a, a mobile otome game which also has beautiful graphics that is just so mind-blowing so i'm pretty sure this is in great hands um it's supposed to be available right now i've seen it on pc ps5 i've also seen ps4 not sure if that's going to change and i'm really excited for this game like it just looks so beautiful and i can't wait to hear more details about it and to be able to finally play it i also have this feeling it seems to me like it'll be a free to play game because when i've looked up the beta testing it says that it doesn't have any in-game um purchasings and things like that so that makes me think that it'll be something similar to like a genshin impact i'm like truly excited to be able to check this game out because it looks uh, like it'll be amazing and honestly just like i need more games like this like i need more dress up games i really need more dress up games and the last game on my list it gives me like really nostalgic feels this last game it's like stardew valley and sailor moon like had a baby and created this game and that is fields of mystria so fields of mystria actually releases in early access on pc in august they just released a demo for um steam next fest i think it's available until like june 17th and i have been watching fields of mystery for so long sailor moon inspired magical girl inspired farming sim can use magic very cute pixel art and i really love the character design and it looks very reminiscent of like 90s sailor moon which is what of course you guys know i'm literally sailor moon 
crazy fanatic <laughs> so of course it piqued my interest when i heard it announced last year finally we got to put, get some gameplay in the demo you get to play three days in game so in fields of mystria you get to play as a new farmer who comes to mystria after it has suffered from an earthquake and the inhabitants are trying to bring more people back to mystria so they can make it a beautiful bustling city that it was before the earthquake because a lot of the inhabitants have left so you get to interact with 30 characters 12 of them are romanceable they're all like beautiful so far i from what i noticed in the demo i love the attention to detail like it's so magical girl you can use magic to farm your crop a lot of secrets to uncover so you can farm mine fish all the same things you do in farming sims but i feel like this one has a little bit of an extra twist to it, it, it honestly i really love the aesthetics of it because in stardew valley for me i really i had to change a lot of like when i discovered how to do mods i i wanted to make it as cutesy as possible and i feel like this is like basically what my playthrough of stardew valley is right now with like fairy wings and like the just cutesy vibe oh, it's already built into the game because you can make heart-shaped crops you can like it just sparkles and magic like i just adore it i adore it so much like i'm really obsessed with all the gameplay i've seen those are all the games that are really giving me hope for the future of like hyper film representation in video games because i feel like what game, video games in general always have been marketed more towards like the male demographic there's some games that i really like to play that i want to be cute and just make believe with like good storylines good graphics and still cater to like the things that I love about video games, you know? I'm just happy to see a little bit more representation when it comes to that aspect of like the video game realm and hopefully we get more games that are catered to like that hyper film demographic. Let me know if there's any games that you've seen that you're super interested in. There have been so many announcements in this last week from like all like the, the summer games fest wholesome games all these and i do plan on making a video on some of my favorites from those but yeah let me know down below what are you currently playing um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you all have a wonderful day as always and see you in the next one bye